Hello guys, welcome to another RV campsite tour. We're here at Lake Rudolph Campground in Southern Indiana, in Santa Claus, Indiana. Yes, we have a town called Santa Claus. And it's right next door to Holiday World and Splash and Safari, which is a theme park, water park, that we actually went to yesterday. And so make sure you check out the video of our time at Holiday World. If you're coming to stay and camp here, you probably wanna check out the theme park because it's one of the main attractions in town. The whole town is themed on Christmas and holidays, but um, we are here at Lake Rudolph, like I said, a big campsite with tons of stuff to do, lots of things for the kids. So let's go check it out. Before we do that, make sure that you hit the like and the subscribe button on this video. Check out all of our RV content and all of our other content that we have on this channel. It really helps us out and we'd love to see who's watching. Let's go. So the first place when you drive up on the main road here, the first place you'll come to is the main office. We don't really need to do anything here because it's mostly like office-y things where they take reservations and such. We have not come here. I don't think we need to do anything here, but they have limited hours. There is, so this is the main drive that you'll drive in. There is actually a check-in um, shack right here and they give you all your keys, not keys. Well, if you're renting a cabin, you would get keys, but maps and information and tags for your car. So let's go check out the rest of it. So we pulled in here. We actually got in at night. So it's finally nice to be seeing what it's like in the daytime. But they do have amenities in town. I mean, there's a grocery store, a bunch of gas stations, but it's all very local and very kitschy and kind of cute. But this is where you'll drive in and check in. They have tons of golf carts to rent. It's a very kind of hilly campsite. So a lot of people recommend a golf cart. We just have our little towed vehicle. So that worked fine for us, but we'll check in here and then let's go inside. We've already checked in, we will go this way. I'm trying to give you a little driving tour until we get to somewhere interesting. When you first get up the hill, I'm just going straight to the activity center. So we have an outdoor pavilion. We actually have a lake. It is Lake Rudolph. So we're going to stop. indoor activities there's a playground golf cart only so we're here at the activity center area they have ice cream certain times when it's open basketball court little place to sit and eat picnic area playground of course restrooms it says game room fire and ice mini golf bait boat rentals gem mining snacks and supplies oh there's the gem mining there's an outdoor pavilion area. Holly Hall, a place for group functions. And here we come to the actual lake. There are campsites right up the back up to the water, which I think look like a great option. Seem pretty. Over here is a putt putt golf, miniature golf. You rent your uh, clubs up there. I think it's all free and provided as part of your stay here. Like I said, pretty hilly. I'm going down, which means I'm gonna have to come back up. But here's a shot of the water. There's a big fountain in the middle. And look at that, there goes one of the roller coaster paths right over the water. Cool. Looks like they've got a little beach, some beach volleyball set up. Definitely see how close you are to the theme park. It literally crosses over. And those, here's those uh, waterfront campsites. They're all back in, if that matters. Back up the hill we go. Go this way so you can see the activity center again. It's a little crowded in here, but we'll take a quick walk through the activity center area. I think it's mostly where you just pick up your supplies. Did you pick your arcade? Yeah. Some more decorations. Games. There's a 
whole arcade area in here. Ready. Air hockey. Camping supplies. Oh, more firewood. Bait. Stuff for renting and fishing. A little bit of everything. And right outside where I parked is horseshoes. Does anyone still play horseshoes? <laughs> As you can see, there's some big wide open spaces, lots of hills, lots of cars right now. But right here is a trail so you can walk if you don't want to you can go up that trail that'll take you to that activity center. If you just want to get your nature time. There are lots of nice shaded sites, pretty much the whole place, except where we are, because we asked for a pull through since we are towing and we didn't want to mess with unhitching, especially since we were arriving late. So here is a morning view of our site. We are in 181, just to give you reference. Right there is the back edge of Splash and Safari, the big water park across the street. And this direction through those trees is Holiday World. Um, I imagine you can hear all of the comings and goings and roller coasters and whatnot through the day, but we were not here yesterday. We were, can't, we were at the park, so. Not sure how much the sound travels, but it is about nine o'clock on a Sunday morning here. People are packing up, those that are weekenders like us. There's a good perspective of the uh, roller coasters and water park next door. The speed limit is 12 miles an hour. I don't know if that's just a speed limit or if that has something to do with like 12 months of the year I don't know <sighs> there are lots of tent camping sites here lots of cabins and what they call vacation rentals People have their uh, Halloween stuff out. It's not as scary in the daytime. Here's one of the camp, tent camping areas. There's some cabins up through there. This area that we're heading to is a little more of an activity area. Lake Rudolph campsite actually has its own little water park, very small compared to the theme park next door. We've got a basketball court, half court. There is a pool right behind there. And then way through the back is the like splash pad water park area. So you can see some blue um, slides back through there. They do have shuttle stops that will take you right next door to the theme park. Several throughout the campsite. This is just a public restroom, obviously, if you don't, or if you're tent camping. Oh my, look at these people, they're taken down. 
A lot of effort went into the putting that together and now they have to disassemble. Sad. This is the camp store. I'm not sure if they're open yet. We will find out. Firewood for sale. Here's a nice map. You get one of these when you check in, but all of the amenities. Toys, glow sticks, light sticks, that's always fun at night. Here, necessities, breakfast, buns, food, condiments, some other things back here. Drinks. A few camper things. I got an ATM. <laughs> you need it. More bathrooms. This is their theme shirt. Camp chairs, decorations, pool stuff, flip flops, toiletries, Halloween. It's kind of fun. Store is a little playground, and then right up the hill is the bathhouse for the water park. Looks like they've got some snacks back here, certain times of day nachos, pretzels, pizza. There's a little playground for the little ones. You can see through here. We've got a splash pad and maybe doing some construction on the water park area. A little different view. There's lots more parking here, a different view of this water park. From here we have some of their cabins. This is the back side, but we'll drive past some more of their cabins. They look kind of nice. Big porches and decks. Some of them look like they're two stories or they have a loft or something. Haven't been inside a cabin. They also have rental RVs. If you don't have your own, you can rent one. This looks like the rental area. These look like they're pretty permanently affixed to the ground on cinder blocks. Here's another area of cabins. Look at this cute go golf cart. It's Mater. That's fun. These look like some more pull through sites. Again, not as shaded. Well, so there you have it. This was your comprehensive tour of pretty much all of Lake Rudolph. I did not go through every single campsite, but you got to see all the amenities and all the major areas. We're right back here by the water park. And if you can see through there, doo -doo -doo, right there is a big pile of pumpkins. And what we didn't realize was that we were here during the start of their Halloween season. And so there's tons of activities. 
There is decorate your campsite competitions. There's um, Halloween costume competitions, pet competitions, decorate your bike competitions. Um, they do parades. They do um, decorate your, um, everybody decorates their um, golf carts and has all these creative ideas. And all the campsites, I mean, a lot of the campsites had really elaborate Halloween displays. And so they have all kinds of Halloween activities, um, dance party last night, just all kinds of stuff, Halloween themed that uh, keep you interested in what's going on and have tons of activities. You would not even have to leave the park if you wanted to, if you didn't want to. So thanks so much for watching this campsite tour. I hope you liked it. I hope it was informative. If you have any questions, let me know. I will try to answer them as best I can. Be sure that you always are checking their website to check availability and also their seasons and hours change. Um, off peak seasons, things aren't open as long or as late. Um, it is kind of a sleepy town and so things close, but just check that out before you come. But it's a, it's, we had a lot of fun. We are planning to come back. So thanks for watching and we will see you next time on the road.